Hello. In this lesson we're going to take a look at prefixes which are widely used in science and especially physics. Let's look at some examples to start with. Here's one I hope you're reasonably familiar with already. 44 kilometers. The K stands for kilo which is a prefix going in front of the unit meter and K means 1000. So when we write 44 kilometers, we mean 44,000 meters. And prefixes are used to mean multiples of a particular unit. Now the other examples you may not recognize, but let's just read through them anyway. 55 pico amps. Pico is a prefix. 12.2 nanometers. Nano is a prefix. 123 mega newtons. Mega is a prefix. 300 terajoules, terra prefix, 1.98 microseconds, is, uh, the prefix is micro, and we'll talk about all of these as we go through. To start with though, we must understand some basics about standard form notation, sometimes called scientific notation. So let's quickly do that. The number 5.1 times 10 to the 5 represents this 5.1 times well 10 to the 5 is 5 tens multiplied together just like 10 squared 10 to the power 2 is 2 tens multiplied together so this notation 5 times 10 to the 5 is a way of representing 5.1 times 100,000 or 510,000 and this is called standard form or scientific notation Negative powers of 10 sometimes cause, cause confusion. Let's just go over a quick example. 5.1 times 10 to the minus 3. What does it mean? Well, 10 to the minus 3 means 1 over 10 to the 3. Let me say that again. It's critical. 10 to the minus 3 means 1 over 10 to the 3. So this number means 5.1 times 1 over 1,000 which is the same as 5.1 over a thousand. So it's 5.1 thousandths, which you can write in decimal form like this. Okay, you need to bear these powers of 10 in mind. Let's look at a number which uses a prefix 44 kilometers. It's actually the product of three separate things. The 44 is number. The M at the end is one meter, it's a unit and the thing before the unit is a prefix k means 10 to the 3 a thousand so in fact this means 44 times 10 to the 3 times 1 meter and all we have to do is swap the k for 10 to the 3 to work out the value just write 44 times 10 to the 3 here's another example 1.2 milliseconds means 1.2 milli means 10 to the minus 3 and we have the unit at the end second all we did was swap the m for 10 to the minus 3 and we've got the answer we can write it out in normal decimal form if we want 0 0.0012 seconds okay let's go through the larger prefixes they go up in steps of a thousand, so it's 10 to the 3, 10 to the 6, 10 to the 9, and so on. 10 to the 3, you already know, is kilo, small k. A thousand times bigger, 10 to the 6 is a million, symbol capital M for mega. A thousand times bigger, giga, capital G. Some people call it a billion but the word billion means different things in different countries, so you've got to be very careful. Next one up, a thousand times bigger, 10 to the 12, is Terra, capital T. And the first four are the more, most common ones. The remaining four, Peta, Exa, Zeta, and Yotta, you can learn them if you want, that's what they mean. They're not as frequently used as the first four. 
let's look at the small prefixes. We already know that milli means a thousandth, not a millionth, by the way. Milli means a thousandth, ten to the minus three, small m. Thousand times smaller takes us to ten to the minus six. And the symbol for that is a mu. The prefix is called micro, and its symbol is a mu, which is a Greek letter. When you write it, it's like a U with a tail on the left. That's a millionth. A thousand times smaller than that takes us to ten to the minus nine. That's nano. A thousand times smaller than that, ten to the minus twelve, pico. A thousand times smaller than that, minus fifteen, femto and so on, all the way down to 10 to the minus 24 yocto. In fact, only the first four or five are used commonly, but there they all are if you want to learn them all. Let's look at a particular example. Suppose you want to know the frequency in hertz, and you're told the frequency is 14 terahertz. What does that mean? Well, all you have to do is replace a t, tera, by 10 to the 12. So that is 14 times 10 to the 12. And on the calculator, you would enter 14. The exp key might be different on your calculator, but it means 10 to the power, and then you enter the 12, just like entering a standard form number. You'll notice I've missed out a bracket at the end of that. So well done. There are other prefixes, 10 to the minus 1, deci, 10 to the minus 2, centi, as in centimetre. They are not the official ones which go in 10 to the 3s, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 6, and so on. But you will come across them frequently. Let's just look at it the other way around. Let's see how many milliseconds there are in one second. Well, I hope you realise a 1,000 milliseconds is one second, because a millisecond is a thousandth of a second. There are a million microseconds in a second. There's a thousand million nanoseconds in a second. So all we have to do, if we want to convert from, for example, seconds to, for example, nanoseconds, is multiply by 10 to the 9, because that's the number of nanoseconds in one second. Multiplying by 10 to the 9 is the same as dividing by 10 to the minus 9. Let's do an example. Suppose you tell the time is 3.6 times 10 to the minus 5 seconds, and you want to turn it into microseconds. Well, to turn seconds to microseconds, you've got to multiply by a million, because there are 10 to the 6 microseconds in a second. And if we do it, it's pretty straightforward. It comes to 36 microseconds. Let's do a proper calculation. A proton travels 50 picometers in 12 femtoseconds. What's its speed in meters per second? Well, speed is distance over time. If we want the speed in meters a second, the distance must be meters. The time must be in seconds. So we put the distance in meters. We don't write 50 p.m. We write 50 times 10 to the minus 12. Because pico is 10 to the minus 12. If we want the time in seconds, we've got to replace the f, which is femto, by 10 to the minus 15. So we write 12 times 10 to the minus 15 instead of 12 femtoseconds. And we do the calculation pretty straightforward, we do it in the head, and the answer is 4,200 meters a second, or 4.2 kilometers per second. That was it. I hope you now have a good grasp of prefixes.